when it comes to fighting fraud, every industry and every company's situation is a little bit different. Different in terms of what vulnerabilities fraudsters might try to exploit, and in terms of risk appetites, as we say in the fraud biz. This is where custom rules come into play. You can create and customize rules specific to your business to tailor Seon to your needs and preferences. On the Custom Rules tab of the Scoring Engine, you'll find all the rules you've created. Click Create New Rule and start by giving your new rule a name. Be as specific as possible so you can easily search for it later. Then, determine what the rule should do when triggered. Assign a score. Automatically approve, decline, or pause for review, or add a user to a list. At this stage, you can also put your rule in a category, which is basically a folder for organizing your rule sets. Next, design the rule parameters. If you have any experience using SQL, or you're generally good with computer science lingo, these will be a breeze. But don't worry if you don't. As a Seon customer, you'll spend enough time in the scoring engine that you'll learn the logic in a heartbeat. Using the drop-down menus, you can build a new rule from scratch or use some templates we provided to save you some time. The drop-downs will also automatically help you create the rules, as will filter the data fields you can select to make sure the logic of your parameters actually works. You can add as many parameters as you want to your custom rules. Click Save Rule when your rule is ready to go. When you come back to the Custom Rules tab, you can review, edit, or turn on and off your custom rules from the categories right here, or by going through the list down here. Thank you for watching. Remember, we cover many elements of Seon in this series, so take a look around at our other episodes. And if you want to read up on anything we talked about or get a more in-depth intro into the world of rule parameters, head to docs.seon.io.